Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we'll be talking about narcissism. Before we dive into our discussion, if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our new content. Today's episode is about 10 ways to identify narcissism and how to determine if you are dealing with a narcissistic person. Identifying narcissism can be a bit challenging because narcissists are very adept at hiding themselves and concealing their true nature. They are highly skilled at making you believe that they are perfect. However, there is one way to identify narcissism through their actions. If you are concerned that someone close to you exhibits narcissistic traits, it's essential to listen to this video until the end. I will share some characteristics and behaviors that can help you determine whether a person is narcissistic or not. Firstly, please note that my use of masculine pronouns is for ease of communication, and the information applies to both men and women. Narcissistic traits are not exclusive to a specific gender. The first characteristic is that narcissists often talk about their achievements and victories in an exaggerated manner. You can identify a narcissist by the way they exaggerate when discussing their accomplishments and successes, even if they are ordinary achievements. They always want those around them to know how successful and outstanding they are. Narcissists also carefully choose their words when talking about themselves or describing something related to them. Their words are often impressive and captivating. The problem is that narcissists sometimes try to make it seem like they are not bragging about their achievements or the success they speak of is not a big deal. They use carefully chosen words to convince you that they are humble and superior, and there is no one like them. The second characteristic of a narcissistic person is that they talk excessively and in an exaggerated manner about themselves. They might discuss anything related to them, such as awards they may have won in a specific competition, their wealth, the amount of money they have, their favorite vacation spots, or their preferred restaurant. You will always find the narcissist doing things that make you inquire about him a lot because he wants to start talking about himself extensively and in a way that describes how extraordinary and unparalleled he is. The narcissist talks about himself to draw attention to him. He doesn't just want people to know about him in general, no, the narcissist wants people to feel how great and legendary he is, and that the whole world revolves around him. He doesn't wait for the person speaking to finish, he might interrupt and start talking about himself. The third characteristic of a narcissist is that he believes he is always right and never makes mistakes. He is the best at everything, and you will find him saying so without hesitation or thought. It's extremely rare for a narcissist to admit he was wrong, even if confronted with evidence of his mistakes. The narcissist is not open to hearing others' opinions or changing his mind about his actions, he always believes he is right. He ignores any criticism, considering it useless, and in this way, he is impossible to convince even if you try to argue with him logically. The fourth characteristic is that the narcissist is very concerned about his image. He is always anxious about his appearance and the image he presents to others. He always wants an impressive image, and people to be amazed by him. The narcissist is obsessed with his looks, style, and appearance, spending a great deal of time to appear impressive and stylish. He wants to always have charisma, and people to look at him with admiration. The narcissist always appears confident in himself, which, in reality, is not true. He always feels insecure and puts a considerable effort into maintaining the image he wants people to see around him. He is very sensitive to any criticism, and his reaction can be extremely negative if he feels that his image has been tarnished. The fifth characteristic is that the narcissist cares only about himself. He is not concerned about anyone else's feelings, needs, or desires. He does not care about others' opinions, and he is willing to do anything to get what he wants, regardless of how it may affect others. The narcissist lacks any empathy towards others and is impossible to put himself in someone else's shoes. He is extremely selfish and doesn't like to hear about your problems or care about what's bothering you. The narcissist is only concerned with things that make him feel important. The sixth characteristic is that the narcissist constantly and excessively needs to feel admiration and attention. He always craves admiration and attention, 
wanting to be the center of focus. He will go to great lengths to be the center of attention, whether it's through attention-grabbing clothing or working diligently to stand out in his work. He is always seeking praise, even if those around him don't deserve it or are not worthy of attention. The narcissist may appear very self-confident, but it's not genuine. In reality, he is very fearful due to his lack of self-confidence, and he presents this facade to hide his true self. This facade quickly disappears at the first sign of criticism or disagreement. The seventh characteristic is that the narcissist always feels entitled to special treatment. While everyone feels a sense of self-worth, the narcissist always believes he is above everyone else and deserves special treatment. He consistently expects his needs to take precedence and be prioritized before anyone else. No matter how much you do for the narcissist or fulfill his demands, he always feels that it's not enough and that you've done too little. The narcissist has a tremendous sense of entitlement, feeling that he should be able to get what he wants without doing anything or making any effort. He always expects others to do things for him without even being asked. The eighth characteristic is that the narcissist lacks any empathy towards others. He remains unaffected and doesn't feel any emotions towards others. The narcissist views the world from his perspective and doesn't understand or connect with the emotions of others. The narcissist is not concerned about the impact of his actions on others and doesn't care to hear any feedback from others. The narcissist never makes an effort to help another person who may need assistance, and that person gains nothing from him. The ninth characteristic is that the narcissist criticizes others constantly. The narcissist always criticizes others to the extent that you might think he always speaks the truth, having numerous opinions and answers to any question, regardless of whether he truly understands it or not. He dislikes being proven wrong, so if you engage with a narcissist to show that what he says is incorrect, he will become extremely angry and harshly criticize you to highlight your flaws. The narcissist often mocks individuals he perceives as inferior or unable to defend themselves and may directly attack them if he feels threatened. The tenth characteristic is that the narcissist uses his charm and attractiveness to get what he wants. Sometimes, the narcissist appears extremely confident to the point of impressing those around him with his charisma and manner, though this is not authentic but rather a mask to cover his weaknesses and true self. The narcissist can be very appealing when he wants something from you, making you feel satisfied with yourself and praising you excessively for anything you do. He starts caring about your needs and anything related to you, making you constantly feel special even if he wasn't interested in you initially. This can be a significant factor in falling for a narcissist, especially if you don't know them well. In general, the narcissist outwardly appears confident, charming, and attractive. However, he can also be extremely aggressive when angry. These were the distinctive characteristics of a narcissistic person that can help you identify if you are dealing with a narcissist. Feel free to share in the comments if you have encountered any of these traits and if you were able to recognize a narcissist or not. In the end, I hope you have benefited from this discussion, and I look forward to meeting you in the next episode with a new topic on narcissism. Thank you, and peace be upon you.